Today I'm going to be firing up the Piston Spitz adjustable flat top grill and I'm going to be doing Jamaican style jerk wings. I'm going to show you a very easy way to do that. But first I got a few people to thank. First one is Jeff Rice from the YouTube channel Dead Broke Barbecue. He sent me a Wisconsin plate. Me and Jeff are really good friends. He's been down here to see me. I've been up there to see him and uh, we have hung out a lot and we talk all the time just like two old gabbing ladies just talk 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 all through the week on the phone or whatever but he sent me one of his ricer plates thank you jeff and frank morello he sent me six different plates three montana plates each one of these has got a story he actually wrote me a letter and told me to store behind all these but he sent me this top montana plate south dakota nebraska oregon over here we have another montana plate and my favorite one that Frank sent is this one right up here. That is a Crow Tribe plate, Montana. And I'm just going to read you real quick because it would be easier to read this than to try to remember everything. Crow Tribe plate was on his truck. He says, a long story. He was adopted into the tribe in 2003 from a man who was related to Custer Scout Goes Ahead. My friend's name is Marlon Goes Ahead. I think that's cool. Not everybody can say that about they are related friends with Custer Scout. That is true. Very cool story. Thank you, Frank. I appreciate it very much. All right, let's go ahead and get this show on the road. So it really don't get any easier. I could show you how to make a jerk marinade, but you have to have certain things that might be a little hard to source, maybe such as Scotch bonnet peppers. It does require that. I've never found in my area I have substituted habanero for the Scotch bonnet. So to me, an easier way without having to buy individual ingredients to just buy the marinade. It's already got the ingredients in it. For the record, this is not a sponsored video by this company. I bought and paid for these. They're available on Amazon. I think it came three to a pack is the way I bought it. And I've used this before many years ago. I used to do shrimp skewers with this. I called them firecracker shrimp, but they were really like jerk shrimp. Fantastic, great flavor. So what I'm gonna do is take these chicken wings. I've got a few more inside the house that I'm gonna add to these. And we're gonna place those in Ziploc bags along with the marinade. And we're just gonna squish it all together, get it good and coated, let them hang out for hour minimum. I would go longer if you can, but that's all I have is an hour today. That should be plenty. And we're going to let them marinate. And from there, we're going to fire up the pits and spits and get it going. All right, to start with, we're going to pour a little bit of this marinade into the bag. Throw some chicken in here. And I am doing the whole wings. You can use the party wings that's already been cut up if you want to. But I kind of prefer these. Let's go in with a little bit more marinade. All right, we're going to put the whole entire bottle. Now this has already got your salt and everything in it. So that should be good right there. Let's go ahead and seal this up. Push out the air. Now we just want to massage all this in really good. Get it all the way through. Just going to keep massaging this in for a few minutes. Then we're going to get the rest of these in these other bags. Do the same thing. We'll see you back here in a little over an hour. All right, I've got the pits and spits fired up. I'm doing indirect cooking. I've got my fire over here to my right and nothing over here to my left. I am running 250 degrees. Now what I want to do real fast before I load this up, traditionally people use pimento wood on jerk chicken, jerk pork, whatever. I don't have pimento wood. I actually do. I just couldn't find it. But I, what I do have is a buttonwood. This comes or it grows in South Florida and the Caribbean. So it too is similar in nature to like a pimento wood. It's a great flavor. Anyway, we're gonna put one right here where the fire is and further back, we got charcoal that's not lit yet. We'll put a piece right there. 
All right, let's open it up. And we're just going to kind of go low and slow here for a little bit. And just let these cook away. Now, there's nothing appealing looking about this marinade, but let me tell you what, don't let looks fool you. Now, this is hot and spicy, fair warning on that. But the Walker Wood, they do sell an original too that doesn't have as much heat. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of these on. We're gonna get her closed down. Well, since you've seen me last, I've moved the fire more over to the left-hand side and I moved all the chicken directly over the fire because we're done, I think. Let's check it and make sure. Oh yeah, man, look at there, 212. Do not be scared to bring your wings this high. Matter of fact, they break down really well and suck off that bone so well when they're really hot like this. These wings are ready, it's probing through like butter. Instant read thermometers, you gotta love them. They're just so handy for things like this. If you're in the need for one, you can get this exact same Thermapro. This is a Thermapro Lightning. Their fastest thermometer, it can record temperature in less than one second. That's pretty fast. You can get this one, or you can choose through other thermometers that Thermapro has. I have a link in the description, and if you use my link, you'll get exclusive discounts. Now that is not char you're looking at. What you're looking at is that, it might be a little char, but it's mainly that marinade that we used. All right, official taste test coming up. Hmm, right off the bone. I sure could go for a red striped beer right now, but I don't have any. Water it is. Well, the piss and spits rock this cook again. I've yet to be disappointed with anything I've cooked. This has got the true Caribbean flavors. I love that from time to time. I've done the pork, I've done chicken, I've done shrimp, I've done a lot of different things over the years, but it's been a while and I had a taste for it. So I've got a lot of people to feed and uh, these are getting colder by the minute. So I'm gonna end this video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I'm Russ Jones with Smokey Riz Barbecue.